feel you shot the ball tonight? You had 24 points, but do you feel like you were effective with the shots you took? And uh, just talk about the game tonight a little bit. Um, for me, and like for like individually, I think that I should have given a lot more than what I did. First half, I didn't shoot as well. Second half, you know, I was a little bit more patient with my shots. Uh, my team you know, continued to lift me up when, when they seemed like I was down and always told me, you know, hey, we need you, you know, next play. Um, and I feel like there's still a couple things that we need to work on, but I feel like there today was a good start. It's just something that, you know, we, this is the beginning, you know, and we're only going to get better each and every game. So. Bashar, can you talk about your first game, what, what you were feeling going into the game, what, what this experience was like for you? Um, it was great. Uh, probably at the beginning, I was a little nervous, and probably you can tell. And uh, second half, I think I came out, and nervousness was gone, and I just played my game. Taper. When you went before the game, you went over and someone said you both took some in there at courtside. Was that something, was that spontaneous or did you plan to acknowledge her before the game? Um, it was something that I thought about and, you know, I think this is, a, you know, the first of many for a lot of us, um, you know, in this season. And so I wanted to make sure and go over and honor her and I'll probably end up making the tradition every game. Megan, you, you know what it's like to start at point as a freshman. Andrea had to fill in with Ariel out. Just talk about how did Andrea run the team? How did she do out there for her first game? I think she did very well. I mean, I don't think she was, you know, too uptight as a, you know, a normal freshman would be, you know, when she's playing in front of thousands of fans. Uh, she was still out there communicating with us. She, you know, she brought us together. Uh, but I feel like, you know, like I said, you know, each and every one of us can do a little bit more. Uh, um, but she did, I, to me personally, she did an amazing job tonight. And I feel like, you know, when we leave here, you know, when Ariel and them leave here, she's going to have to step up. So I feel like, you know, it was a good test to see how well she was going to handle, you know, everything that was going on in the game. Tabor, could you talk about the team's defensive play overall? I mean, you, you, you accomplished some things, but you also had some problems with fouls. You know, how would you assess the way the team played this first exhibition? I would say it was inconsistent. Um, I think our effort level was there at times and not at others and as a senior that's my responsibility and so I take full responsibility for that because it's some I mean effort is something that you can give no matter what no matter how talented you are no matter how you know tired or whatever you can always give effort and heart and I think that's what Holly was really stressing and so I think um, you know we saw some transfer of what we wanted to do up defensively but we have a long way to go and we understand that um, Yes, it was great to kind of get our feet wet, but uh, we got a lot of work to do. Was but, it weird not having Pat there though, on the bench? Obviously, Holly played a big role last year, but just not having her on the bench, was it a little weird? I mean, of course, it's going to be different. And, um, you know, I was telling someone earlier, different is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just different. And, um, you know, we this is the first time that we've ever had that happen. And um, But I thought Holly, you know, she stepped in and did a great job, and she's gonna. She's prepared, and she's gonna do an amazing job. And we all believe in her 110, 10 percent. And you know, the, the thing is, Pat does too, and so that helps when we know that she's supporting her. And um, you know, Pat's still supporting us no matter where she's at in the arena. We know that. Tiger, you the last few years, you've known that a lot of the prominent players were on your team because of that senior class and just graduating. Mm -hmm. Not knowing exactly what to expect from all these young players. You're, is there an excitement to that in a way because you, the potential is kind of unrealized? Absolutely. And, you know, I'm so proud of our freshman. I'm so proud of Bashara and what she did. And we mentioned Drea. And, I mean, Jasmine Jones came in and did some great things. And, you know, Mia. And then we're, we're excited when JP's going to be on the floor, too. Um, but we, we understand that we don't know. We really don't know what everyone's roles are yet because it's still, you know, new and everything, but um, we're very excited about what they can do and what they can bring and, um, you know, we believe in them 100%. So maybe we're Tabor, I'm just <clears throat> learning how to play this style without or without foul. I mean, I know y'all got this in foul trouble late in the first half. How is that just going to be kind of a game-by-game game game by game process knowing how the game's being called and that type of stuff? Um, I think it is going to be a game-by-game game thing, but I feel like it's going to have to start in practice. You know, it's going to be one of those things that we have to be very disciplined when it comes to, you know, playing with our hands instead of playing with our feet. But the, the main thing is that our coaches always preach to us and tell us, you know, play with your feet and never play with your hands. And um, I think it's like with us, it, it has to be a mentality. You know, we have to want to play defense with our feet instead of with our hands. 
Um, but like I said, it's going to have to start practice, and we have to constantly remind each other and say, you know, like you guys watch out. You know, if the coaches are going to do this, you know, they can make us run if we touch somebody with, it, with our hand. But we just have to, you know, make make sure that we're disciplined in everything. Bashar, can you talk about Jasmine? I think she started the game six for six. Just what she can do for you guys early in, for this program, Jasmine Jones. Um, Jasmine is a wonderful rebounder, for one. Um, she can finish on contact, which I love. And um, when she's in the game, she just brings, she brings so much to the, uh, to the table. So um, the, 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 the ability she has to bring to the table is just it's, it's unreachable. I talked to your mother very briefly before the game. She had never seen you play here in Thompson Bowling. She'd never seen a game in Thompson Bowling. Were you a little nervous having her there? or did, How did you finally settle down in this game? Oh, well, I was nervous because my mom. I was just nervous because it was my first game playing here. And I think uh, all the freshmen, uh, freshmen were a little nervous at first. And um, well, I, was, I was glad that my mom got to come because she's never been here. She's never actually seen a lady ball game and uh, just for her to be here it was just wonderful. Any more questions?